Hi guys, it's Kimberly from Swingworthy. Um, I wanted to film a little bit of an introduction to this video because obviously the subject matter might be um, a bit controversial and I know that people are going to have uh, very divided opinions about the subject matter of this film which as you can probably guess is derma fillers and the fact that I went ahead and got derma fillers. Now, I understand there's very much two schools of thought when it comes to derma fillers or Botox or any kind of injectables, whether it's collagen fillers or anything like that. And there's um, people who are absolutely dead against it and who think you should grow old gracefully, accept it, um, take care of yourself and not actually mess with your face which I totally get. And then there's the other side of that where people say, you know what, it's your face, uh, you're taking the risk yourself if you're paying for it, if you're willing to do it, then why not try to keep off the aging process for as long as you want? So I have been on sort of both sides of that fence. Um, I think I grew up really thinking that I couldn't understand how anyone would stick needles in their face and mess with their face and mess with nature and I thought it was ridiculous and plus I think the media sort of focuses on those uh, cases where I don't know movie stars and things like that have got it so wrong where they have gone to the extremes when it comes to fillers when it comes to Botox and we see these um, put up all the time as examples um, and the truth is that there is such a thing as very good um, injectables and people who have done them very well to the point you probably don't even know that they've had them um, and then obviously there are those who have just taken it to an extreme so I have um, decided to get them and I decided to come to the other side of the fence because of um, well a little bit of my background so if we go back in time when I was quite young, um, I've always looked younger for my age. I've always been very lucky in that respect to look younger uh, than my age. And my mother always did as well. So I think honestly, it's just like a genetic thing. So through my 20s and 30s, most people thought I was quite a bit younger than I was. And I loved it. I have to say that it was a, it was a positive thing. Um, and it was nice when people thought when I was in my mid 30s and people thought I was in my, my mid 20s. <laughs> so the only issue really was once I hit a certain age, probably around the age of 40, 142 somewhere in there I started noticing the signs of aging on my face because that is what happens however I was taken a little off guard by this <laughs> but anyway it's not that I didn't think I would ever get old but I think it just I, I kind of felt like I woke up one morning and looked at my face and I didn't recognize it anymore and I didn't like that um, I have quite good self-esteem I have I'm quite a confident person in myself I know I'm not like a perfect 10 or anything like that, but I'm okay with what I've been, you know, the, what I've been given, I'm all right with. Um, the women in my family, if you go back on my mother's side of the family, whether it's my mother, my aunt, my uh, grandmother, they, they all, in their older age, all developed jowls. And I remember telling Wayne years ago, that wasn't going to happen to me. I was not going to have jowls. So what started happening when I hit my early 40s? I'm 44 now. Um, so right around the age of 40, 40, 41, 42, I started noticing that the lines of my face here um, started getting a lot deeper. And this is what would happen to my the, the women of my family. Um, they start developing really deep lines there. And then suddenly their face would start to sort of fall down and then they would develop these massive jowls. I started to see that happening to my face and I started seeing it was almost as though my face was like falling. Um, I had lost a lot of volume here on the side and I think what happened is felt like my face was sort of caving in on itself. Now these things probably only um, were noticeable to me because I look at my face every single day. So it wasn't something that Wayne told me to get done. I wasn't pressured by anyone at all to get this done. But the more I saw it, the more it just really bothered me. And I started to research what I could possibly do about it. Is Was there a way that I can kind of um, you know, take back a little bit of what my face used to look like and was there a way that I can sort of fight off that jowly look for at least a little while longer. And in my research I came across the use of derma fillers. So I actually went to a, um, 
a doctor probably about six months ago. I didn't end up going to him, but it was just a consultation just so I can get some information. Um, and he kind of talked to me a little bit about what dermatophilus could possibly do for me. Um, and it sounded like it could be the answer to what I was looking for. Um, I wanted to make sure it was safe. I wanted to know exactly what they did. And so I kind of went back from that meeting and I did a lot of research and I did a lot of thinking about it. Um, and so that was kind of where I had left off with it. Now, uh, a month or so ago, I had um, attended a launch of the Yuva Medi Spa in Alderley Edge, and it's a beautiful location. Um, it's a really beautiful building. I have shown a little bit of it on the blog, but there's more in my blog post, um, which I will link uh, up above here, I think. Um, so yeah, keep a lookout for that. Um, but if you, so if you like interior design, you're going to love it. It's absolutely stunning, stunning place. And that, to be honest with you, initially drew me to the place, but that is not the reason why I got it done there. While I was there, I got to meet Dr. Raj Aquila, um, who is one of the founders of the Yuva Medi Spa. And he is uh, a really well-respected doctor within that, uh, within that sort of, uh, aesthetics sphere. And um, I just really loved the way he was saying what he was saying. I loved his approach towards it. Um, there was a real emphasis on natural looking results, um, which I really liked. I did not want to look like someone else. I didn't want to, I wasn't fooling myself into thinking that I was gonna look 18 again. I just wanted to look like me, but a little bit fresher. Um, and the, there was a, a thing that he had said that I really liked where he had said, I'm not here to make you look sexier. I'm not here to make you look younger. I just want you to look like the best version of you. And I want you to look good for your age. And I thought, yes, that is what I want. So after I came away from the launch, um, I contacted them again and I said that um, I was really impressed with what I'd seen and that I would like to book in for a free consultation um, with regards to derma fillers. So that is what I ended up doing. They were absolutely fantastic there at the Yuva Meta Spa. Um, I will be absolutely upfront with you and honest because I don't know how else to be with you guys. And you know I'm always really honest with you. So I received my derma fillers for free. Um, however, I was absolutely under no obligation whatsoever to give a positive review. Um, it was just an exchange for coverage of my honest review of the procedure. And I have to say, um, again, I'm under no obligation to say this, but I did actually think they were fantastic. So um, it was Dr. Liesl Holler who actually did the, uh, did the derma fillers for me. Um, she was the sweetest, most loveliest person, and I was so, so happy with the results. So I have had them done. What you see here is um, about three to four weeks, I think, that I've had it done, and I'm quite happy with the results. Um, it's very natural. I don't think most people, actually, I, people that I've seen since then have not commented on it. They've not noticed it. Um, most people, the ones that I have told have been really surprised, um, but I do notice the difference of it and Wayne noticed the difference. Um, once I, I've actually talked about this in the video, when I first came out of the, of the Medispa, um, he didn't even notice. After I'd kind of the following day and my face had kind of settled down a little bit and I put makeup on, he thought it was remarkable and he said I looked like I was 10 years younger again. So thumbs up there. But anyway, what I want you to do is to please continue watching. Um, I am going to be taking you through sort of what happened to me um, on the day of, the, the morning after, and a little bit later on in the day where I'm sort of checking in and letting you know exactly what happened um, during my visit, uh, how painful it was, what the effects of it were, how much I bruised, all of that. So if you're interested, um, please do keep watching. If this is not your sort of bag, um, you are fully against this sort of thing, that's absolutely fine. Just click off the video. I won't be upset. I won't be hurt in any way it's absolutely okay if you decide to continue to please uh, to keep watching then um, please be nice <laughs> it is a personal decision I am in no way encouraging anyone to get this done 
please do your research if you are considering it. Please do your research on the doctors that are performing it as well. Um, it's such an important thing and I don't want anyone to think that I'm encouraging you to go a certain path if you don't want to do that. So um, just this is purely from my personal perspective and I thought I would share. So um, do keep watching and thank you so much for hanging in there. Um, I'll be with you in just a second. I've decided that I'm going to get derma fillers, which um, may be controversial. Uh, I don't really know, but um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Um, I have noticed as I've gotten a bit older, I've hit my 40s now, I'm 44, um, that my face, even though it's difficult to see that in this light because it's quite bright, let's see if I can find a better spot. Okay, let's go from here. Um, you can see that I have sort of folds here and I have folds here in my face. I never had those when I was younger and so for me seeing my face sort of change as I've gotten older kind of feels a bit funny. Um, I know it's a personal decision but I was told essentially that derma fillers what they do is they restore volume where you will have lost volume as you age so you have fat pockets that are throughout your face um, so you can tell I haven't lost these ones so I have quite full cheeks um, but what I have done is I've lost them here so I've kind of lost the shape of my face and what derma fillers would do will, re -rest will restore that volume here so what happens is as you restore the volume, you can see the lines here, um, it will slowly just kind of lift up the face. So it's like a really subtle and temporary version of a minor facelift. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping for today. I'm going to the staff at Yuva Medi Spa today and um, hopefully by the time I get out, um, you will see uh, a bit of an improvement that's going to hopefully be subtle but um, but look like a bit fresher, so we'll find out. Hi guys, so I am actually appearing on camera, I know Mish, I'm appearing on camera without any makeup, which just would never ever normally happen, but for the sake of my review, I feel like I should. Um, okay, so I went yesterday to have the derma fillers done at Yuva Medi Spa, and um, it was um, slightly uncomfortable. Um, they put quite a few needles in my face, so if you are not good with needles, um, it would probably be your worst nightmare. I'm okay with needles, so it, it wasn't really too bad. You feel a little bit of a pinch when it goes in, but otherwise, it's not really painful. I would just say it's a, little, a bit uncomfortable. Anyway, so... Um, as you can see, um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, I've got a bit of bruising here, um, I've got another sort of sore there, um, so, and I have like little, a few little tiny minor sort of, you could see where it was, where it broke the skin. So, as far as I understand, this is pretty normal. My face at the moment is slightly swollen. Um, it's not to the point where it's, hi Mish, um, it's not to the point where it's, you know, horribly, um, uncomfortable or really sore or anything like that and my face obviously is not like swelled up like a balloon but um, but it is it is a little bit sort of ten tender I would say in, in places um, however what she did do I really actually think so far things look pretty good promising um, I can see that the lines that were here that I was concerned about and the lines that were here um, those sort of folds um, have seem to soften quite a bit. Um, you can see also that they restored some volume here. I mean, th I think at this moment in time, it's really, um, it's really very subtle. I got in the car and Wayne couldn't even tell what I'd done. Um, so that's actually a good sign. I mean, Wayne's not the most observant person in the world, but, um, but yeah, it's not like I came out and he didn't recognize me, which is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to freshen up. I didn't want to look like a completely different person. Um, so that was positive. Um, what I can see though, is I have a little bit more in the way of cheekbones. So you can kind of see when I look up to the side, um, that I actually have a better shape here. I also have a better shape um, around my jawline. So what they generally do, what she was telling me, is that they have to set sort of a foundation for your face first. So they'll start with the derma fillers to kind of get the structure right, and then you can tweak as you go on. Now how, how much, how much I'm going to actually continue? Um, sorry. 
How much I'm actually going to continue with this, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm going to see what happens. She's going to see me again in six weeks' time. Um, basically, it takes about that long for the derma fillers to really settle into place and to look their best. Um, after that, it should last anywhere from a year to 18 months, which is quite good because you do get you know your money's worth in that sense. Um, but yeah, I think once I put some makeup on, I'll probably be able to tell for sure how it looks. I can cover some of the bruising and it won't look too bad. Um, but I thought I'd give you a little update on what has happened so far. So I apologize that I couldn't film while I was doing it. Um, obviously, I was preoccupied with getting stuck with loads of needles. <laughs> so, um, and there wasn't anybody in the room for me to, aside from the doctor, obviously, for me to um, to ask to film. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you like my little update. But that is, uh, that's basically so far so good. A little bit sore, feeling a little tender. I will say um, the derma fillers have a little bit of a numbing agent. So after a while, it's it gets, the pain gets less as it goes on. But as the, as the um, numbing agent was starting to wear off last night, I really did feel like I had gone 10 rounds in the ring. I felt like someone had punched me in the face. <laughs> so it's not terribly comfortable after a while, but it's not, um, it's not unbearable pain. It's, it's livable pain and it did hurt a bit. I was able to take a little bit of paracetamol. Um, you shouldn't be taking anything like aspirin or ibuprofen afterwards because it could contribute to the bruising. However, paracetamol um, is actually okay. So I took a bit of paracetamol before I went to sleep and when I woke up this morning, um, the pain had definitely subsided. Um, I still have a little bit of tenderness here and I have a little bit of tenderness around my chin. So um, yeah. So far, so good. So I'll let you know how I get on as the uh, as time goes on. Hi guys. Um, so I've got some makeup on um, after uh, everything, and I quite like it. I feel like for the first time, I don't know if you can really see that well. Um, for the first time in a long time, I've got cheekbones, so I can kind of. This lighting is not great. Okay, that's maybe better. Um, but yeah, so for the first time in a long time, I have actually have some cheekbones, which is um, really kind of nice, I suppose, um, and a little bit uh, a little bit weird and and quite good. But yeah, so first time I've done my makeup. Um, I'm not sure how great this lighting is. I was kind of here before, so. Thinking, is that better? Don't know. Anyway, so I still have, you can still see the bruising. Um, I'm struggling to hold this camera. Um, you can still see a little bit of bruising here and here. Um, but for the most part, everything else I've been able to kind of cover up pretty well um, with makeup. So that's good. Um, face is feeling a little bit more a uh, little less tender. Um, probably it's about quarter past 12 now and I had the procedure done yesterday afternoon between about 4 and 5 o'clock. So, um, so that's good. So that's less than 24 hours and my face is actually feeling pretty good. Um, I had recorded earlier. Uh, it was about 9 o'clock in the morning. So it's about three hours later. And yeah, I think things are starting to feel a little bit more settled, a little bit um, less, less sore. I still have a little bit of swelling around here. But um, I don't know if you can tell but I have very, f the lines that are here are very faint now, which is good. And I feel like my face is now, again, um, more of sort of, I keep looking at the the camera uh, viewfinder. <laughs> so I do apologize for that. Um, I keep looking at my face because it looks a little bit different to me. I like At least um, to my eyes. I think even though the changes are super subtle, because I look at my own face so often, um, obviously as you do, I, I really quite notice it, so I just keep on, like a very vain person, I just keep on looking at myself, as you would. It's probably the same thing as like if you get a new haircut or something, and you just keep checking it in the mirror because it just feels different. Anyway, so it's kind of like that. So, um, yeah, so it's a very, very minor change, but I feel like my face has taken on more of a heart shape again, um, instead of sort of an oval. So, yeah, that's good. I'm quite happy with that. Um, but yeah, results are subtle, and um, but effective. So, thumbs up. I'm holding on, if almost gone. Someday I know I finally make it through the gates. Just have to wait. 
So guys, that has been my journey of getting derma fillers. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, what I will say is that at this moment in time, I'm about three weeks in. Um, normally it takes about six weeks for the derma fillers to completely settle. Um, so they're still not 100% finished settling in at this moment in time. Um, I am going back to Yuma Medi Spa just for um, a kind of a checkup to reassess, um, make sure that I'm happy with everything. If I needed to do any top-ups, they would do it then. Um, but yeah, overall, I am actually really quite happy with them. Um, hopefully you can see why uh, when you saw the side-by-sides, I think it's kind of noticeable more when you kind of really look at the pictures next to each other. Um, it is subtle, but that is exactly what I wanted. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, if you learned something new today, um, then please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, as always, more videos will be coming your way. So um, please do hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching.